It's morning maintenance. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear and today I'm going to show you how to change and program your machine for using the water filter. You can on these, <coughs> excuse me, on these machines on the um, on the Jura machines you can program it to not use the filter but you have to descale. Or if you choose to use their filters you don't have to descale. So it's one or the other but you can't you can't skip it. it. They just won't let you. So this this machine happens to take the clear old blue. So we're going to take the top off of this. This is a brand new filter. There it is. So what you do is turn the machine on. And then we're going to get into the program mode. We don't care if it heats or not. Rinse. Now we're going to take it over to filter. No, we're going to change it to yes. Press OK. Now it's telling me to insert the filter back here in the water tank. And that's what we're going to do. There's a, a doodad up here too where you can uh, put in what month you put it in. You're supposed to change these every two months. Now let's get this down in here. Whoop, a little bubble came out. Put the lid back on, clicks, put the water tank back in, and what it's going to do is it's um, going to go through a rinse mode. It's going to automatically rinse the water filter. It's a charcoal water filter, and there might be a little residual stuff in there, and it talks about that in the, um, in the manual. When you, you, you can refer to your manual how to do this if you forget, but it talks about rinsing that that it might be a little cloudy water coming out and that's what you get with a charcoal filter a little bit of cloudy water sometimes so the other thing that that's doing is it's getting all the air out of the inside of that filter so it's saturated with water so you won't have any air bubbles which would interrupt your brew and you'd have trouble brewing if you had air bubbles in there other manufacturers have you soak the water filter they just do it for you I think it was about 50 milliliters of water. Whoop, good, we're done. So now it's heating up. It's all done. The filter is in there. Doesn't look cloudy to me, but it's hard to tell. This is not clear. So when it's done heating up, it'll tell you're ready. Then you can make your, uh, your favorite drink, whatever it may be. That's how you change out the filter in the Micro 9. I might have said one a minute ago. This is the Micro 9, but it's the same sequence in the Ooh, it might be a little bit different in the Micro 1 because it doesn't have the same programming mode. So refer to your manual if you have the Micro 1. This is for the Micro 9. It's ready to go. Have any questions, give us a call. Refer to your owner's manual. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for all kind of morning maintenance tips. And I hope you have a great day.